casita de chocolate. Muy bien, Nailea Rivero. In a kindergarten classroom at Hollingsworth Elementary, six-year-old Nailea and her classmates dream of a chocolate house. La casita de chocolate, the house of chocolate. They envision what it would be like to live in such a sweet structure. But for Nailea, there is another dream about a permanent home. So tell me where you're living right now. Family promise. What is family promise? What does family promise? Yeah. Is it a house or what is it? It's a house where people go when they don't have a house. And I need to get ready for bed, okay? This is where Nilea and her parents sleep at night, at least for the next seven days. After that, they'll move to another church or synagogue or mosque as arranged by the organization Family Promise. Her parents say she often asks when she'll get her own room in her own home. How does it make you feel? What do you feel when she asks that? I feel like crying, you know. Uh, we tell her soon, you know. Well, that gets me more, gets me motivated to, you know, get a job sooner. Juan is a carpet layer by trade, but was laid off two years ago. Now he works at a car wash, doing what he can to provide for his wife and daughter, yeah. but it's still not enough. Mary had to quit her job last year when Nilea got sick. The whole month of November she was in and out of the emergency room, but right now it's like, it's so hard. She Especially is, because we don't have uh, medical insurance. Yeah. So it's hard for us sometimes to get the medicines there. It costs a lot. While Juan and Mary's story is heartbreaking, it is not wholly unique. I think since the economy is going um, south, the number of homeless children has increased tremendously this year. Myra Berkovitz oversees the Title I Hope program in Clark County, which identifies and helps homeless children in the school district. The homeless children are part of families. It's not so many people, you know, that'll push the cart thing. That, that's a chronically homeless person, but we're seeing a tremendous amount of homeless families. Title I Hope provides the homeless children with backpacks full of school supplies, food, and clothing. 50 schools. 50 schools. 50 schools. One day. One day. Mm -hmm. While Myra feels her group is making a difference, she fears it may not always be enough. Children who are homeless have a, a whole litany of, of issues, and among them are anxiety and depression aside from hunger. Nilea appears to be a happy and bright six-year-old who thankfully doesn't grasp her family's economic circumstances. It's been real difficult, stressful. We try for her not to um, see that we're, you know, we're so stressed out about stuff. We try our best to keep that part away right. to ourselves. <laughs> for her, all of the moving around is somewhat of an adventure. Sometimes we, um, um, so a driver, his name is Mr. Chu, he picks us up and he takes us to the same church. And one day we move to a different church. Mm -hmm. And then a different, and then a different one, and then a different one, and then a different one. And every day. What's the hardest part? Well, right now it's not having a steady job, you know, that with a good pay and housing in our own house. I'm sorry. It's okay. But things are looking up though. <laughs> yeah, only things are gonna be better. Some will be at an accident. <laughs> and lost half of yeah. the antenna. <laughs> yeah. Nilea is also sure things will get better, although she expresses it differently. I don't have a house. Do you think you'll have a house someday? A chocolate house. For now, a church is where Nilea goes to sleep each night. I pray the Lord has souls to keep. If I die before I wake, I pray the Lord has souls to take. Amen. Chocolate houses and a permanent home are simply the stuff of sweet dreams. Good night. Good night.